Let's turn this into a party. I think we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on to the Lincoln Park thing. Oh God, not Lincoln woke. So yeah, okay. Um, from what I understand, so Lincoln Park you may have heard of them. <laughs> you may have heard of them if you were above the age of 15. Even if you're under the age of 15, you might've heard of Lincoln Park. And who are they? They are a rock band, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. What would you call them? New metal? Would you say they're new metal? I don't know exactly. There's some, they're like somewhere in between that though. You're late on the controversy. Yeah, I know. I mean, I kind of was like sleeping on this one. Okay, so basically seven years ago, uh, Chester Bennington, he believe they stopped making music after that or they stopped touring. Okay, so they got a new singer recently. And I guess from what I'm aware of, the controversy is that she's a Scientologist. So her name's Emily Armstrong. Is she a good singer? I don't know. Let's find out. She killed Chester. We don't have proof that she didn't. Turn this into a party. Let's turn it into a real fucking party with this one. Okay, this is kind of hilarious. Let's turn it into a party. Let's turn it into a real fucking party. Hey, screaming isn't bad. I mean, it's better than her talking voice. Her talking voice going on stage. She sounds like she smokes and has BPD. She sounds like she probably beats her husband, if I'm being honest. Like, I'm not really, uh, I'm not really one to like make that claim just based off somebody's voice, but her talking voice makes me go limp. <laughs> now nah, I'm good on Linkin Park, Linking Park now. To take a girl as a singer was the only good move. Is it though? I don't know. It's not that Emily's a bad vocalist. It's that she apparently has the past that she has and she has not, in my opinion, given an appropriate response. Yeah, this guy, <laughs> Needle Drop clone. Okay, let's see. Mars Volta singer spoke out against Armstrong after she joined the band. The singer reshared a post he had written last year on Dead Sarah's Instagram page. Do your fans know about your friend Danny Masterson, your rapist friend? Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. Danny Masterson, is that, wait, who's that? American actor, third count of, he's had, okay, he was convicted of raping two women in 2003. And then there was a third count. That's a lot of counts i mean i don't know for like a high score there that's that seems like i mean if you have one allegation for that sort of thing it's kind of sus you know somebody could be lying if you have three allegations listen either everybody's out to get you or you did that shit that's that's my opinion i feel like the more allegations you have against you the more likely it is that you've done at least one of them and i've heard people in the past be like well, that doesn't make sense but it's like no no like if people are willing to go out on the ledge and say that you've done something. If it's just one person, it's pot. It's, it's you know, it's it could be likely that it's faked. The more people there are willing to risk the reputation in order to say that about you, I don't know. It just it makes it more likely, in my opinion. So the former, oh, he was on the That '70s Show. Oh, okay, well, I didn't know that. So he was sentenced to 30 years in life in prison in 2023 after being convicted of two of three forcible charges earlier this year. But what is her relation to him, though? What is her relationship, though? Right? We look at what she did in court. Okay. The singer posted a statement of her own on Friday addressing some of the allegations against her. Hi, I'm Emily. She wrote an Instagram post. I'm new to so many of you. I want to clear the air about something that happened a while back. Several years ago, I was asked to support someone I considered a friend at a court appearance and went to one early hearing as an observer. Soon after I realized I shouldn't have, I always tried to see the good in people and I misjudged him. I have never spoken with him since. Unimaginable details emerged and he was later found guilty. To say it as clearly as possible, I do not condone abuse or violence against women and I empathize with the victims of these crimes. So I'm guessing she testified on his behalf. I don't know. It doesn't really say. Both are in Scientology. That's really Relationship. Okay, this is, is this all the controversy here? I mean, this part's bad. Like, you know, backing a rapist is kind of bad. Well, let's look it up. It, it's funny how it's like, well, the, you know, the worst thing she's done isn't even that. The worst thing is she's a Scientologist. <laughs> so now, <laughs> all right, let's look at the Scientology shit. So she is a Scientologist, apparently, or tie, she's tied to Scientology. So for those of you who don't know, uh, Scientology is bad. You don't want to be a Scientologist. Why is Scientology bad? A Scientology is a cult, extremely, extremely litigious cult. That is true. They are very, they do, they're very suit happy. Scientology exists for the sole purpose of recruiting members and then controlling every aspect of their lives as a means to extract the maximum amount of wealth from them. Groundbreaking human trafficking lawsuits against Scientology. There's a girl that escaped it and shared her story on Joe Rogan. Crazy shit. They're for sure a cult. Around is my boy. Here, let's read a, a Fox News website. Oh, yeah. So, OK, so Danny Masterson was a Scientologist. Many of Scientology's criminal enterprise money making schemes are criminal in nature. It's routinely and systematically engages in fraud, human trafficking, identity theft and money laundering to fill its fill its coffers and enrich. Its I mean, that's a lot of people saying this. I just want like some like straight up like some proof here. But I mean, I feel like there's a lot of people saying this. I feel like it's like you could probably you could probably go with that. Scientology goons are coming. Are they? Are they, though? I think they're busy trying to extort people for money. I'm just trying to find like, you know, the 
accusations here. Linkin Park's new lead singer, Emily Armstrong, is responding to significant backlash surrounding her past association with Danny Masterson of That 70s Show. She's got a new statement out. Today, we're gonna talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly surrounding Linkin Park's reunion. Let's jump into it. I was pretty surprised that this has kind of been fumbled with them, that you didn't see the Scientology stuff coming, apparently, or the Danny Masterson stuff. Uh, as soon as the announcement was made, I started to see rumblings online. Being financially vulnerable, you're more susceptible to join the call. Hey, if they'll take care of my bills, what, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? I'll do whatever you want. I'll do whatever you want. This stuff, I'm starting to dig into it, but it was kind of hard to make heads or tails about what was true and what was false. But then you have a member of the Mars Volta blasting her and blasting the band for associate blasting he just came out and he started blasting i started blasting with danny master uh, sin and scientology and all of that and so let's take a look at the details of that and ultimately her response to all of this she did issue a response and then we're going to talk about the fallout for all of this and what this means for lincoln park going forward this is what we know almost immediately after lincoln park bro this is where the video should have started it should have started at 4 fucking 11 out of 640. <laughs> This is where the we found where the video should have started, guys. Hold on a second. I always hate when people do this to me in my comment section, so I'm gonna do it to somebody else right now. Video starts at 4:11. God, this I'm such an asshole for this, but fuck this guy. Video starts at 4:11, and we're gonna upload it that way more people see it. Mark introduced their new singer. I always fucking hate when people fucking do that on my videos, and usually it's like, well, video starts at 36 seconds. Right? But no, no, this one started at four fucking minutes. All right? That's crazy. Or Emily Armstrong. There was chatter on social media about her ties to Scientology and convicted rapist Danny Masterson, who is currently serving 30 years to life in prison. Yesterday, the Mars Volta's Cedric Bixler Zavala took to social media to slam Linkin Park and their new vocalist, Emily Armstrong, over her connections to Scientology. Can we talk about how crazy this guy's hair is real quick? Where are the allegations of that? and her past support for Danny Masterson. The subject is a personal one for Cedric Bixler Zavala, whose wife is one of Danny Masterson's- Mars Volta is good, yeah. Users. Masterson, who starred in that 70s show, was convicted in court on charges brought by two Jane Doe accusers. The Mars Volta's Cedric Bixler Zavala reshared on- I do think that is actually, that is a little shady though. Jane, like, you're not gonna reveal who you are. His Instagram. I'm not saying he didn't do it. I'm just saying, like, I don't know. I always think it's a little shady when somebody has serious allegations and they don't want to reveal their identity. Story yesterday. A comment he. Well, these are convictions, though. Left a year ago on Emily Armstrong's other band, Dead Sarah's Instagram. He wrote, I'm surprised none of you wrote a letter on Danny Masterson's behalf since your corny ass singer showed up to support him in the prelims. Remember, Emily? Remember how your fellow Scientologist goon squad surrounded one of the Jane Doe's when she was trying to leave the elevators? Oh shit. Okay, this is what I was trying to find. This is what I was trying to find. The court sheriffs had to escort her away from your awful cult. How do you reconcile the homophobia found in the teachings of L. Ron Hubbard's Dianetics? And late last night, Emily Armstrong released a statement in response to the backlash. She wrote, Hi, I'm Emily. I'm new to so many of you and I wanted to clear the air about something that happened a while back. I don't know. I don't know. If you're part of a cult and you did some bad stuff and you're no longer a part of the cult and you acknowledge it, I feel like there should be some level of forgiveness if possible, if you're changed. What do you guys think? I feel like there should be some level of forgiveness possible, but yeah, I know Busy Works Beats. He says he's not a Scientologist, but one of his favorite books is by L. Ron Hubbard. So make of that whatever you will. Go, I was asked to support someone I considered a friend at a court appearance and went to one early hearing as an observer. Soon after, I realized I shouldn't have. I always try to see the good in people, and I misjudged him. I have never spoken with him since. Unimaginable details emerged, and he was later found hey, guilty saw this part violence against women, and I empathize with the victims of these crimes. Yeah, she probably is still a Scientology member. That is true. Because she, yeah, she didn't say anything bad about them, just, just about Danny. Crimes. So in that statement, Emily says that, you know, early on she thought she was supporting a friend and then she learned a lot about the details of that case and then ultimately realized that it was a mistake for her to have supported him and she's making herself very clear that she is totally okay. opposed to him and supports the victims of that horrible, horrible person, Danny Masterson, who is now in prison 30 years to life. Now that is your latest update here from Rockfeet. Okay, I guess we got a little bit of information out of that. I don't know. It's not much, really. I guess that's it. I mean, I guess if she's not really 
denouncing Scientology, yet it had her doing this shitty stuff. I don't know. It's kind of bad. It's not a good look. Just for her going... No, she didn't just go to a courtroom. She she spoke positively on Danny Masterson's behalf, the guy who was accused. Of but then basically, it came. all the details came out and she was just like, oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. Then also, they, they both had ties to Scientology. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of hard to... Mm, I don't know. I wasn't, I'm not really that into Linkin Park at this point anyways, though. So I don't, what did we learn today, kids? Scientology is worse than, ah, I don't know. They're both pretty bad. She didn't speak anything, just was an observer. Well, she also, what they said is like they surrounded and harassed one of the, the accusers. She kind of sounds like a piece of shit, in my opinion. I mean, did you hear her at this performance here? I mean, I feel like this says all you really need right here. Let's turn this into a party. Let's turn this into a party. Let's turn it into a real fucking party with this one, all right? Come on! I don't know how oh, bad. It's, it is kind of funny. I don't know. I guess that's it for this.